How many square miles of ocean does the U.S. have exclusive control? 3.4 million square nautical miles, which is bigger than all 50 states. That is correct. Oceans cover 70% of the Earth's surface and hold 97% of the water on our planet. We are all dependent on our coasts and oceans for our livelihoods, health, and recreation. Scientific discovery and innovation have driven our nation's economy and improved our quality of life over the last 50 years. However, our students are falling behind their international peers in math and science. Fortunately, the mysteries of the sea provide an exciting opportunity to engage students in a variety of scientific disciplines. The Consortium for Ocean Leadership hosts an ocean education competition in the United States each year that helps high school students learn more about our oceans while preparing them to excel in math and science. Which of the following is used to measure the amount of phytoplankton in the water? The students are tested in the subjects of biology, chemistry, physics, and geology. Approximately 2,000 students from all over the United States and its territories participate in the National Ocean Sciences Bowl each year, competing for scholarships, prizes, and trips. It's important to maintain a high level of uh, capability in terms of our nation's science and technology, especially nowadays when we have so much discussion about issues associated, for example, with global climate change. What is the mechanism by which fertilized waters would transfer carbon dioxide to the deep sea? When they fertilize the water, it, a lot of phytoplankton start reproducing and they undergo photosynthesis, so they take in a lot of carbon dioxide for that, and when they die, they sink to the bottom of the ocean. We really need to understand the ocean to appreciate it and to preserve it. And from this standpoint, it's the future generations who have a major responsibility in improving our understanding of the ocean so that we can enjoy the resources that they provide and that we can also uh, build up strong economic benefit from using the oceans. Category Biology. The common octopus is considered part of which mollusk class? A2. Cephalopoda. Each February, regional competitions are held at 25 locations across the country. Teams of four to five students are tested on their knowledge of scientific and technical disciplines through quick answer buzzer questions and more complex team challenge problems. To prepare for the bowl, there's a lot of teamwork that goes into it, so they meet with their teammates on a regular basis. I've made flashcards, I've taken notes. You study really hard for all year. We start out studying the textbook, then add in all sorts of supplementary books. We do handouts, then we have our weekend practices. The experience for these students is really a rush, and you can see it in their eyes. They spend a lot of time, many hours after school, uh, like they would for almost any other team practicing, studying. The shallow bathymetry of the Bering Strait. The Stratton Commission. El Nino. The winning team from each regional competition advances to the NOSB finals, held in a different location each year in late April. The national champions win experiential, hands-on award trips to exciting locations such as Costa Rica, Bermuda, and Hawaii. I would encourage students to compete for a number of reasons. One, it's fun. It's just a blast, and you've got to see it. These, these students come in, and you would think it was the NC2A finals. They're really excited. Uh, you can see the energy is just uh, infectious. I think there are a lot of really good career options for it, and it's something that definitely I want to take a look at going into college and then afterwards doing something with ocean science. I think I might want to be a marine biologist when I grow up because I love animals in the ocean and learning about them. If another kid wanted to join the competition, I would tell them, go for it, and you learn a lot. It's fun. How you can get involved in the National Ocean Sciences Bowl. Visit our website, www.nosb.org, to register for a regional competition and to study and practice answering sample questions. It's important for schools and communities to uh, support this activity and to build our next generation of ocean leaders because this is an important aspect of our society. 
uh, science and technology, leadership, understanding of our environment, the role the oceans play. They play a role in our economy, they play a role in our quality of life. The more they know about the oceans, the more knowledgeable their decisions will be. The NOSB is supported by U.S. government agencies as well as corporations, foundations, and other non-governmental organizations. If you would like to contribute to this great program, please contact us at 202-232-3900 or by email at nosb at oceanleadership.org.